Pretty nice. This is your nightlight. What? Look. Turn it off. And then turn it on. Um, wow, we get two beds. This is such a minor detail, but they even do different size slippers. And assuming these are for me. Cute. Right. I do believe it is nap time. Yes. Okay. Good night until it's time for dinner at Aurora. Alright. Three hours later. How was your nap? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't like how little my arms are. There you go. Yeah, uh, my nap was really good. Yes. Slept hard. <laughs> Oh my god, these beds are so comfy. Eee. All right, so now we're gonna go head down to Bacchus Lounge for a pre-dinner drink, and then we're, oh, we keep saying we're heading down. So right now we're on the third floor, which is the main lobby area. So I, I know, my brain knows I'm on the third floor, so in my head, all the stuff is on the first floor, but it's actually on the third floor, I think. The Lumiere's restaurant is down below. We haven't really explored the hotel. Feeling much better after a nap, so maybe we will later today. Maybe we will on Wednesday. We'll see. All right, so drinks and dinner. Yeah, all right, let's do this. not something I would normally go for, but it does have gin in it, so we'll see. It smells good. Oh, I like that. It's got a nice little, very slight kick. Yeah, that's good. Try it. Grams is still being made. Disney predominantly is for kids, right? I, I mean, of course it is. It's, Disneyland is for everybody. Grand. No, I think a, a trip I, like what we're doing right now, I mentioned it last year. Uh, I, was, I was just going to say, just very briefly, let me set it up. I was just going to say that uh, it's interesting being at Disneyland, but being at a Disney hotel a bar because it doesn't seem, what do you call it? Conducive, not conducive. What, what's the word? Doesn't seem like to go hand in hand. To go hand in hand. And Ashley was saying, I was saying like a, a trip like what Graham and I are doing, where it's just two adults enjoying Disneyland. My mom and I talked about this uh, last time we came here. 
people were shocked that two two grown adults would go to Disneyland by themselves. But back home, that's a thing that people do all the time. Um, so I mean, yeah, any, anybody can enjoy Disneyland. In fact, there's a lot of lists uh, saying you should go to Disney World at least once before having kids. So I think we're thinking of going to Disney World sometime in the next year or so, but it's expensive from Beijing, so no promises just yet, but I really want to. I, we want to do uh, drink, drinks around the world. Can't do that with kids. So basically we are, we're sussing everything out first before we potentially have kids. We're going to check out all the, the good places. Um, so <laughs> Enjoy them while we still can. No, no, so we know if we do have kids, we know where to take them, right? Yes, this is for research purposes. Research. It's just to enjoy each other's company. And it's nice because we can do date night, but what's nice about the hotels here, I don't you know, I never really stayed in the hotels in California just because I lived in San Diego in LA, so we usually drove up. Um, so I'm not aware of what hotels at Disneyland are like. Um, but what's nice here is that both hotels have like a babysitting room, and so you can have your kids there. I think it's free if you're a guest here. I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But you can uh, have your kids do some play craft activities in the hotel and then go off and enjoy date night. So I like that they have that set up here, which is cool. The uh, Magic Kingdom Club is <laughs> like the seventh floor extra menus. This is where the fancy people stay. Look at that. That's pretty. I can't see it because of the light. Graham was a goobs and forgot his camera gear inside goobs. Aurora, which is the restaurant on the eighth floor that we were just at. But they're uh, they're 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 bringing it here apparently. Yeah, we're on the seventh floor right now. The eighth floor is closed because the restaurant is closed. But, yeah. It's these, not a big deal. These yeah. ladies here. Uh, no, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> She's trying to get a photo of herself. She's trying to selfie it up. So pretty. The grass is so nice. Is it real? Touch it. Is it real? Touch it. I'm curious. Yeah. It's real. <laughs> it looks real. so nice. <laughs> Review of Disneyland Shanghai. There were too many stairs at the hotel. The only thing ruining this view is. The Donald Duck light. Oh, yeah. Turn out the Donald Duck Actually, no, it's okay. Because I appreciated Donald Duck when I was there. Thank you, madam. Welcome, my good sir. Good sir. I like it. Ooh, that whoosh of cool air. We just finished an amazing meal at Aurora on the 8th floor. I probably enjoyed it more than Graham did. Um, I mean, the food was amazing. The service was great. Very, very memorable experience. There was a snafu at the end. Mm -hmm. We paid with a card and then, because uh, the card was based in the United States and then it's Sunday back home uh, and so, there didn't go through and so on and so forth so we had to pull out some money uh, some 
good hard cash. Hub 33 is basically in Disneyland in Anaheim. It's an exclusive membership only VIP club for people. That, I think membership is something like $50,000 a year, a year. And so it's a big deal. Usually you can only be invited by members of the club. The reason that we got invited, we got invited by the manager at Aurora. And I think it was because of the whole big hullabaloo. But he so casually is like, oh yeah, you, you want to go to Club 33? And I was like, what? But in Shanghai. What is it? You'll see, you'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> I was literally just explaining what it was, right. if you're listening. Uh, it? It's designed for just celebrities, famous people. Like us. Back in Disneyland, because I think Walt wanted to create an area that was exclusive for VIPs, so they didn't have to deal with all the hullabaloo of the Disneyland traffic. Um, so we will be doing that tomorrow evening, which is a huge bucket list item. But anyway, the reason that we can do that in Shanghai is because I don't think that they have officially opened up membership yet. So right now they're still offering tours. I think you can go on a tour through Beyond Disney. I, I was reading a blog about a girl that visited um, on a Chinese tour through them. Um, but we live in China, so I don't... I was trying, racking my brain trying to figure out how to get into Club 33. And then this guy just casually like, oh yeah, you want you want to go? I was like, yes. Don't have any idea. He, Graham has so. no idea. Our stay at the Disneyland Hotel is coming to a close. Yes. So, what did you think of the hotel? Uh, yeah, it was pretty good, pretty, uh, yeah. pretty classy hotel, um, it was great, other than the kids. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our new, no. <laughs> new um. friend. <laughs> there, if you asked if we are Chinese are we, people. <laughs> we are not Chinese people. No, we're no, not. Not yet. Hey. Right. So yeah, I thought it was it was good. Nice rooms, good bed, uh, good entertainment. Um, there's a bar. There's yeah. good food. Close I mean, to yeah. the park. So. I did stay at the Toy Story Hotel last time. Uh, it would with my mom and I really enjoyed that, but I have to say, maybe it just means I'm more bougie, but I loved this hotel. Bougie she loves bougie I'm a bougie bee. I won't cuss because this is a Disney video. Um, yeah, I mean, I liked the little touches here. That's just a Disney thing though, like our uh, maid, she saw that we were reading books, so she left us a little note and a bookmark and the uh, greeters at the door. He saw that we were really hot, so he handed us a bottle of water and all these nice little little details that make a place like this special. Um, the, the slippers. <laughs> I love those slippers. We ended up taking a pair because they were great. I, I hope it's allowed. I think it's allowed. Um, yeah, my arm is getting tired, and Graham doesn't like it when my arm moves. Yeah, because your arm's um, like going like I this. I know, I know. Um, we went to the bar, the big wine selection, if you're into wine. We tried the Ballet Cafe this morning. We went to Aurora. Aurora was beautiful. I thought it was really cool. I don't, there were more kids there misbehaving than I thought there should be, but that's all right. It was still a really, really nice restaurant. Amazing food. They were so, so nice there. Um, 
yeah, I had an amazing experience here and probably next time we come back, I think we'll probably stay here just because I, I like staying. I I'll probably always stay at a Disney hotel moving forward. Sorry, Graham. It's expensive, but I can't go back. Can't go back to... I, I like the conveniences way too much. And the Disney magic! Even the the cleaning services here, they have like cute little uniforms that kind of remind me of Belle's costume. Or sorry, Belle's dress. Um, it's just nice. No matter where I go, we should take care of